Hey there folks, it's Cliff, Kissy Boy Smith, coming back at you with another update. Now, uh, as you know, when I get to about 99.9% .9 done, typically uh, that's when I shoot a video. And I guess I, I already know there's parts on it that I've probably forgotten. Uh, shooting this video, I'll think to myself, oh shoot, I didn't put that on there. But um, it, it reached about 99%, 99.9% .9 done last night, and I was like, I need to move on to something else. Cause I'm not sick of this car particularly, but I've got enough projects around here that I want to get to that I kind of would, whatever else needs to be done to it, I can get to it eventually. So, uh, if you follow me on Instagram and uh, Facebook, you probably already seen the progress. I usually dedicate a, an album to any car that I'm working on, and uh, I think I put the last photos, last ones I shot in there already, so if you know me on Facebook, it's Clifton Smith, just look me up. I'm in a lot of the uh, model car groups. Anyway, without delaying further, because I want to make the video too long, uh, we'll go ahead and get to what I got. And there she is. The 1959 Chevy El Camino, uh, inspired by the 2014 uh, SEMA car that I had found pictures of on the internet. Uh, this is my second complete um, airbrush paint job. Uh, it's a custom mix of uh, folk art, um, folk art ice blue, and then some generic color deco or something jean blue to, to dull it down, or to darken it up, I should say. Uh, and over that, some duplo color, duplo color clear. And, uh, I think it came out pretty good. I mean, it's not the exact same shade as the uh, as the car that inspired it. And, the tunnel cover on the, the real car was body color and it had a white roof. But um, I think it came out pretty good. I mean, the wheels and the engine and the tunnel cover with the linear actuator, that's all part of, um, of this car. So it's like, it was supposed to be a car that never was. And I guess this is if they ever made a second one or more, or it actually went in protection, I guess you'd say. Anyway. Um, I uh, used uh, quite a bit of photo etch, as you can see here on the tailgate, uh, the limb on there, and then the uh, El Camino, That's the photo etch, and I want to thank you guys for the last video, uh, I'd ask how you guys would work with putting those El Camino emblems on here, and uh, I uh, went and I put the uh, used uh, future clear coat, put them on there. That's how I got them to stick. And I'll pause it here and I'll show you how the, uh, the tailgate works. And maybe I'll show you a little bit of the interior and the engine. Alright, I'll show you how the uh, tailgate works here. Like I said in the last video, I used that. Uh, magnet to uh, to get it to stick so it won't fall apart but uh, there's that linear actuator that, like on the real car and it will extend all the way up it's not the prettiest thing in the world but yeah. it works and looks mostly like the uh, the real car there it is standing up and on its own I think it looks pretty good. I mean, it's, if I did it again, it'd probably be better. And you know, I'm not going into this thinking this is ever going to be a show winner. I mean, I would probably bring it to a show just to just to have something there, you know. But I don't expect to win anything. Honestly, I really don't. I wouldn't say I don't care about winning, but it's not the first thing on my mind. It's like being amongst the rest of you guys who are into this, which I don't really get to see that too often, be around you guys too often. And the tailgate does stick a little bit. Uh, it does open. Alright, so. And then I got the uh, hood vents in it. And I'll show you the engine. Alright. And here's the engine. Uh, Still need to add 
coil like usual <laughs> brake master cylinder and radiator hose but uh, I did use a little piece of photo etch there for the radiator and then we look into the interior try to duplicate the white face gauges that the real car had and also I don't know if you can get in there but also it's got seat belts I did uh, one in body color blue and then the other the part that attaches in black I thought it looked pretty cool and then the uh, carpet up and it covered up the uh, instruments uh, the uh, the pedals I guess you say and, uh, the photo edge kit included those so I put them in eh, in my opinion not a bad little buggy and uh, it'll look great on my shelf uh, I did lower the suspension down a little bit uh, I tried using the, the lowest notch on the front and just dumped it in the weeds which was way too far down the rear suspension it sunk as far down as it'll go but uh, the front I just used the stock height. But, uh, that's about it for the uh, 2014 SEMA inspired El Camino. Uh, I might put up a few more pictures at the end of the video in regards to it, but I'm calling it 99.9% .9 done, which means that I can kind of work on it when I want to, and I'm going to take it to a show and those last few details. But for now, it would have been another shelf model. Uh, join the 99.9% .9 done club. I'll give it a couple more spin rounds and maybe I'll show you my next project here. I'll throw it up on the uh, old revolving table here and let's see what it looks like. Let's see what I'm working on. And here's the next project. And uh, this was inspired. Well, I wanted it before I went to Model Fiesta. But um, what sealed the deal was uh, I saw a build review on H HPI Guy's Workshop on YouTube, uh, his build review of this car. And I thought to myself when I saw it, hmm, I gotta have it. <laughs> you can't beat 1960s Cadillac. And uh, I'll show you in a second what I want to do with it. But, uh, I'll show you what I got. Take a look at it. And this will be uh, hopefully the next thing I'll be working on if I don't lose concentration. <laughs> and there it is. My 1966 Cadillac Coupe de Ville, which I'll be working on next. Uh, it's just a curbside kit. Uh, uh, it's mostly going to be paint, I guess. and getting these wheels on it and the stance of it. I uh, drilled out a couple of holes because it has those axle rods. Drilled out a couple of holes so it would sit this long. But it's got a couple of adjustments and I'm going to leave it so it will be adjustable so I can pose it in you know, different positions and so on. But uh, I'm kind of digging it just laying the frame out like this. And, uh, I began work on this last night and again if you watch, if you uh, follow me on Instagram and Facebook I started an album on this one. Uh, up a couple of pictures on Instagram but it will not be this yellow uh, I'm still debating on colors for this uh, I found a color that I, I really liked uh, today in uh, O'Reilly's and the line was so long just to get one can of paint I just walked out so hopefully it'll still be there next time I go back and it won't be so freaking crowded um, I was gonna go with French blue to me but I uh, if the can is any indication of what it's going to look like, it's not going to have any metallic in it, and I kind of want to see if we can get a metallic flake in it, maybe. I don't know. Again, like I said, I'm still in the idea phase. But I, I had to change the, the color. I mean, the, the, uh, it's molded in yellow and red. And when I showed my wife this to her, I put the wheels on it and everything with the frame natural and the interior natural, and it was yellow and red, and she said, oh, it must be Ronald McDonald's car. 
so I had to go and remedy the uh, <laughs> the frame and the interior so I can get better ideas rather than keep thinking, you know, seeing the golden arches. But I, anyway, that's what's going to be next, hopefully, unless my attention span changes. And uh, I blackwashed the girl last night, kind of test fitted to see what it looks like. And, uh, got the uh, tail lights ready to go. This one shouldn't take that long, I don't think. I mean, once I get rolling on getting all the body work and stuff done on it and prime and decide on a paint job, it should fall together pretty good and pretty quickly. And it'll look good on my shelf, but with the rest of the lowriders that I have, the few that I have left. And uh, this guy, I think he approves of it. He's been standing next to it a lot. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, Hope you enjoyed watching my video. Thank you for commenting and subscribing, leaving a like, dislike, as long as your eyes are on it. That's, uh, that's what matters to me. I enjoy doing this stuff. And appreciate all you guys on Facebook and Instagram and everything. Uh, that's what I got. This one I'm really looking forward to. I'm happy to get the uh, 59 off the uh, off the list here and be able to enjoy just looking at it and <laughs> waxing it up and shining it up and putting it with the rest of my rest of my cars so, you know, just to sit amongst the uh, the growing number of cars that I've completed over the past few years here in Texas and just before I got here but uh, thank you guys for tuning in uh, stay tuned for, uh, for more Kissy Boys Custom Cars I'm calling this one Kissy Boys Caddy alright, I'll take it easy <laughs>